we have started this firm in 2013 could you tell us a bit about nanotech technologies if you want to uh, control something first we have to measure that is the core idea about the same in msme uh, medium and small scale customers uh, in that uh, we understand their pain uh, reiterated our company and created three major verticals uh, due uh, based on the customer request we started to manufacture our own electrical control panels hi sir welcome to the new express teams Hello, sir. Um, so, could you tell us a bit about nanotech technologies and how you, you know, got into the field and how you started and how it has evolved throughout the years? Actually, we have started this firm in 2013, right? Uh, serving in the field of uh, industrial automation. Uh, so, basically, we have like uh, till 2015, uh, we are a company who try to take product uh, like PLC, HMI, and servos from our principles. and uh, give solution our only value addition is plc programming right. so after 2015 uh, due uh, based on the customer request we started to manufacture our own electrical control panels okay so uh, till 2020 we are be doing uh, one is uh, one vertical is uh, plc product selling right second one is uh, electrical based uh, control panel right after that on uh, after 2020 we based on the market demand we understand what are all the problems with uh, uh, small and medium level customers uh, in msme uh, medium and small scale customers right uh, in that uh, we understand their pain and we started uh, we st- uh, reiterated our company and created three major verticals first one is like uh, same as uh, we are uh, taking product from our principal and try to give the same with our customers got it second one is electrical and mechanical based solution particularly camera oriented uh, uh, solutions okay uh, like vision system hmm. camera oriented solution then th- third major vertical is uh, like uh, we can say we are trying to take data from the machines we used to we used to call it as ites okay information technology engineering solutions right so in that uh, we try to take uh, uh, means uh, data from the machines and uh, will give a uh, productive report maintenance report in maintenance both periodic maintenance and predictive maintenance right finally we give analysis uh, report as well okay because if you want to ma- uh, control something first we have to measure that is the core idea about the same okay so this is what a basic uh, introduction uh, we were serving in uh, initially we were serving in chennai market uh, then 3 uh, years before we started our operation in coimbatore bengaluru and pondicherry as well okay now uh, in near future we are about to start our operation in hyderabad as well right Okay, so you spoke about predictive maintenance. Can you speak a bit about that? Like, what exactly with you know with the input of AI and emerging technologies right now? How do you work with that? Like, how does that factor into it? Example, I'm telling, sir. Uh, we are going to take data from the continuous data from the system with uh, seamless uh, connectivity. Uh, right. Continuously, we, we used to take data from the system. So, uh, for example, uh, every uh, dice or tool has to be maintained. or change at after certain amount of production for example in a single day if we can make only 1 lakh production after that it has to be make certain changes so okay. uh, that uh, we try to uh, take the data and give to the maintenance team stating that uh, your die is about to get uh, aged so you have to make necessary uh, rework on the die okay. for the uh, Uh, better production right it's better for the workers as well as for the yes, companies yes sir because themselves. quality then we can uh, customer can enhance their quality on that right so do you guys like have an in house development team research team what do you like anything new you're developing right now for the market actually we have our uh, in house design team and development team okay so uh, we we have a uh, people uh, as a uh, market analysis we try to take 
painful data of the customer. Means uh, in production, what are all the pain areas they are facing? Those data we try to take from the customers, and uh, based on that, uh, we try to uh, give to our R and D team for the solution. Based on that, uh, we try to improve our product. Means uh, we are trying to make our system robust. Parallelly, better solution to the customers. Really, what they need. Okay. Okay, so you know your one of your main core aspects of your company is industry innovation and automation, basically automation. What future do you see for that in in India, considering that we have a large workforce, skill uh, labor? Actually, thing is, sir, uh, we have uh, enormous uh, manpower in India. Right. But problem is they were not guided in a right way. For example, basic industry requirement is they need experienced people who can able to settle their pain. Okay. Uh, but for example, I'm telling uh, who can settle their pain. Uh, but uh, whenever we are uh, we people is coming out from the colleges or uh, like engineering diploma, ITI, MBA, whomsoever it may be, when they are coming out from the college, they were not industrial ready. Okay. So uh, here our system. Will educate them and enhanced them uh, because uh, even uh, fresher can operate the machine or uh, operate the system right. or operate the process properly, so that uh, even uh, they they can get better productivity uh, instead of experienced people. Even fresher can achieve the same. So, what would you say is a long-term goal for your company specifically? Company's long-term goal is we try to uh, create. Uh, for example, I'm telling uh, uh, we want to expand on product-wise and geographically. Okay. Uh, near reason we try to expand in Hyderabad market. Within five years down the line, we want to operate in Pan India. Okay. And give proper solution. Uh, we personally felt that uh, uh, each and every person is unique on their own way, same as each and every industry and company is unique on their own way. Okay. So our core intention is to give proper solution as per their need. Do you work with like so like a big term right now in industry is corporate social responsibility or you know like environmental responsibility? Do you guys do any? Do you work with that? Do you like foster opportunities for like marginalized communities or do you work with anyone like that? Actually, uh, we do uh, work with few colleges. It's not for monetization purpose. Our core objective is we want to train engineers for industrial ready. For example, if they come out of college, they they will straight away they can place in a company. In two ways, it's benefited. One way he can give his maximum output from the day one to the companies. Same way, company instead of hiring uh, way too experienced guy, even fresher can match their performance. That's what our core objective is all about. Okay, so you're working primarily with students and like you know people who are don't have any experience and help them get a foray into the field. True. So do you have like I mean, have any major success stories with that regard? Like, can you highlight anyone who has uh, like done major? We like we placed uh, almost uh, fifty to ninety peoples in. Uh, automotive uh, uh, mncs just to uh, means uh, even company was happy with them engineers also uh, was so means you know uh, at end of the day if you work well you will feel so happy with the same happiness they were uh, contacted us and uh, uh, in fact they were very much happy it's like a win win ally right now a lot of like major mncs and international investment is pouring into tamil nadu and india as a whole like, do you see a future? Like, you know, do you see like a big future for India in industrial revolution? Like, you know, like a second coming of it, like a future investments and future for your company as well. True. Actually, uh, particularly uh, Chennai is an automotive hub. Right. Not only on automotive, in other industries, not only in Chennai, in other parts of uh, Tamil Nadu, and other regions also. Uh, many investments were uh, already promising investments were coming to india it will be really help us to grow our business and uh, our uh, customer also can serve th those companies or we can serve directly to those mncs for the better productivity
So do you have any like uh, collaborations with like any other companies or do you like work specifically with some other companies, you know, to get like, better products or enhance your productivity? Actually, we do collaborate with a uh, few Japanese and Taiwanese based uh, MNCs. Okay. Uh, uh, products like uh, Delta and SMC okay. and uh, Fuji Electric. Okay. So in that, uh, uh, we try to give, uh, we were giving solution for the air management system. Okay. Uh, in the, uh, generally in industry, people used to tell that air is free, but compressed air is not. Compressed okay. air, we have uh, it plays almost thirty percent of uh, total uh, electricity consumption. Compressor used to consume thirty percent. Okay. So in that way, uh, for example, we try to take uh, 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 means uh, we try to give solution to the customers. On that, we try to take uh, those MNCs products to enhance the better solution to the customers. Okay, so that's your main core objective, like True. air pressure as well as with camera, working with cameras True. specifically. Okay, so when you think of like technological leaders in the world, you think of countries like Taiwan or China or Japan, like what do you think India or Tamil Nadu as you know, your company has to do to you know, reach that level of standard, to get that international renown that you know, when people think of like India, they think of technological leader. For example, if any product produced in German, US, China, Korea or Japan, they try to manufacture a product on global vision. Okay. They want to give their product to, uh, means globally, uh, they try to promote their products. In India, particularly our Indian entrepreneurs, if we say our quality is good, yes, our quality is good. Uh, but to produce that particular product, we are spending more amount on process and productivity. Generally to match this, we try to uh, where nanotechnologies plays a key role. Okay. For example, uh, uh, we want our customers to manufacture their products in a for a global vision. Okay. Global standard. For, as per global standard and our product is global standard. But uh, we cannot, uh, the pro problem what I felt that uh, they are not competitive means uh, their product quality was at par. But they don't have uh, access to the global market because their core focus is on their productivity. Okay. So if we use these softwares, it will help us to increase the productivity and uh, uh, data we will try to take from the roots. So we try to take data from the roots and we try to uh, uh, means uh, uh, help our customers to take informed decisions. Right. Like uh, what is the production that we require today? What is the uh, wastage? Uh, what is the raw material that we require for today's production? Like those, these kind of details we can take and see it in a single screen. So it will really help our customers to enhance the productivity coming to industrial automation uh, you have countries like china making like massive inroads into automation like companies going entirely automatic or you know like workers integrated with the machine systems itself do you work with do you see a future in that for india actually india has to move only on that way okay reason beyond this uh, for example uh, already process over people like that every uh, companies start to think on that way. For example, uh, by setting up a strong process, really we can achieve those standards. Okay, do you, you believe in work integrating workers with the machines, you know, enhancing True. both sides? True. Okay. So, you know, you have been in industry for more than a few years now. What are the major challenges that you face, you know, in setting up your company in the flow and major challenges that you face? Actually, uh, major challenge is people mindset. Uh, we have to, uh, first we try to inform our team that people over process. For example, strong people only can create strong process. Uh, by setting up a process, if people didn't follow, means uh, that process will be completely failed. So to avoid that, we try to educate our people. Second, we are the company who started without any major third party investment. Okay. So we can feel, uh, we know the pain that uh, uh, what are all the costs involved and what are all the uh, 
price that we need to pay uh, unnecessarily for the manpower or uh, uh, means uh, downtime, mission downtime, everything. So these are all the learnings which I learned from the... Okay, so what do you think is a personal challenge for you come moving forward with the company itself? Like what do you see in the next 20 years? Where do you see the nanotech itself? Actually, we strongly believed that uh, a situation may keep on change. Adaptability is the right solution because we cannot, uh, personally speaking, we cannot uh, 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 means uh, customer may change or industry may change right. or uh, uh, solution what we are, what, what is the market that we are catering to, the way of solution may change. Okay. But end of the day, adaptability will give long sustained business. Right. In a very niche industry such as yours, what makes nanotech technology stand out from your competitors? Actually, we strongly believe that uh, uh, everyone, each individual was a unique, each company was unique. So solution what we gave to one company won't, uh, it's not necessary to that the same solution will fit others. So here uh, we felt that customization, we have standard templates for the maximum solution and we try to customize as per the uh, requirement of the company. Right. So that we personally feel that we were unique on that. Okay. Okay. That's it. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for the beautiful opportunity. Once again, thank you.